As an adult in his late 20s, I grew up loving the superhero shows of the early 2000s. If I wasn't watching shows like Power Rangers or Beetleborgs, you can be sure that I was watching either Spider-Man the Animated Series or Batman Beyond. Batman Beyond was the animated successor to Batman the Animated Series, in which a young man named Terry McGinnis ends up crossing paths with an elderly Bruce Wayne, who after begrudgingly helping Terry avenge his father's death, agrees to help train Terry as the new Batman. Now the TV show lasted three seasons and over the years received a number of comic tie-ins and cameos and other stories but never became mainstream until 2014 in DC's New 52 Future's End, where among many plots we found our guy Terry McGinnis in the past trying to pre prevent the planetary takeover of Earth by Brother Eye. Without getting into too many details, Brother Eye fails and Batman returns to his time to see what his future holds and that's where we will begin. I'm Peeping Tom, and this is episode 1 of my 2016 Batman Beyond recap. We begin with issue 1, Brave New Worlds. The setting is Neo-Gotham in the future. A group of members of the Joker's gang are breaking into the Wayne Powers facility to steal a piece of tech known as the Veil. To no one's surprise, Batman hits the scene, takes out the Jokers, and puts the Veil back where it belongs, just at the last second. Inside his cowl, he has Alfred, who is an AI system in place of the old witty butler. Alfred informs Tim that the Veil is a defense installation system that blinds Brother Eye from being able to find Gotham. It would seem that whatever Tim did in the past only managed to save Gotham in this timeline. Next we find Batman arriving at the home of Nora Boxer. Nora works at the Global Peace Agency where Matt McGinnis was on a field trip. Due to his parents being missing or dead, she lets Matt stay with her when Terry goes out as Batman. Matt is very critical of Tim, believing he doesn't deserve to be Batman. Through conversation, Tim learns that Terry's friend Max Gibson is alive, but at a POW camp called The Lodge, located in New York City. Tim heads out to save her, but unfortunately is on his own, because no one knows whether the Justice League has been turned into Brother Eye cyborgs or if they are even alive. He finds out pretty quick, however, since when he arrives outside the lodge, he is attacked by a Cyborg Superman. Cyborg Superman is defeated when Alfred creates an electrical feedback shock that fends him off, but shorts out the Batsuit, leaving Tim outside unprotected. Tim decides to blend in with the incoming prisoners and sneak inside to find Max with Commissioner Barbara Gordon, who recognizes Tim Drake. We begin issue 2 with Tim, Barbara, and Max escaping the other incoming inmates who are being prepared for processing. Tim explains to Barbara that he thought the Brother Eye satellite had been destroyed and that Brother Eye must have sent him to the future. While avoiding processing, Barbara explains to Tim Brother Eye's process has three stages to it. First, a happy face, almost lobotomized look, where the person finds himself almost in a state of euphoria, making the person more compliant. Second, a faceless form, where all signs of individuality are erased, and finally being turned completely into a cyborg. While escaping, Max is captured, and Barbara makes Tim leave her behind, because they have no hope of fighting the cyborgs, especially since she confirms the death of the JLA. Tim does, however, reveal that not all hope is lost. When Barbara asks Tim if he has any tech on him, he explains he is Batman, and while he has doubts his ability to serve, Barbara reassures him that he can't compare himself to Bruce because nobody could fill those shoes. Brother Eye has started the processing of Max, and she is forced to reveal Barbara and Tim are inside the facility. This interests Brother Eye because he has been waiting for Tim's return. Tim and Barbara are attacked by Ink, who is working for Brother Eye. She and her cyborg thug attack the two and Tim manages to get the upper hand and partially recharge the Batsuit off of the cyborg goon. Unfortunately, Ink is aided by Max, who is revealed to be completely processed, and the two are captured. We begin Issue 3 back at Nora's home, where Matt expresses his concern that Tim must have failed because he is nothing compared to his brother Terry. But Nora reassures Matt that he should trust Terry chose Tim correctly. Back at the lodge, Brother Eye is reviewing Tim's memories as he prepares to process Tim Drake. A little quick recap for the readers. Tim Drake became Robin when he impressed Batman by figuring out who he was under the mask. Eventually, Tim joined the Teen Titans and when they died he gave up being Red Robin to become a bartender. 
during Future's End, Terry gave Tim the bat suit to stop Brother Eye, who reveals the reason he sent Tim to the future was because Alfred's AI made the bat suit undetectable. To reassure Tim and Barbara they have lost, he shows them the Cyborg Justice League, which Barbara is skeptical as to why Barda and Warhawk are missing. Fortunately, Tim is able to break free from Brother Eye and destroys the processing chair in hopes of stopping Brother Eye from being able to turn anyone else. Ink and Batman fight again and during the battle she explains the reason she is working for Brother Eye is because he is holding her daughter Deanna prisoner on the moon with him. She does agree to help Tim destroy the Lodge in exchange for helping her save her daughter. Tim, Barbara, Max, and Ink escape as the Lodge is destroyed. Everyone besides Ink meet Nora and Matt at the hospital for Max. Alfred, who has been glitching in and out since the fight at the Lodge, detects his programming has been compromised and Brother Eye hacks the Batsuit, learning the location of Neo-Gotham. As alarms in Neo-Gotham begin to go off alerting the beginning of Brother Eye's assault, Batman is met by Micron, unimpressed knowing Tim is not Terry. As a cyborg drone of Superman, Wonder Woman, and Green Lantern are activated and set course for Neo-Gotham. Brother Eye's attack on Neo-Gotham begins. Commissioner Gordon is leading the defense against Brother Eye. Barbara gets captured, but is saved by Ink. Batman is having trouble avoiding attacks by Brother Eye. Realizing he is being trapped through Alfred's program, Terry is forced to take Alfred offline. Tim Drake gets overwhelmed in the fight against Brother Eye and is saved by Barbara, who takes him to the Batcave. With his Batsuit disabled, Tim asks Barbara for version 2.0. Barbara explains that Tim is already wearing version 5.0. With no other alternative, Barbara, Barbara opens a storage cell and gives Tim version 1.0, the bat suit worn by her father, Commissioner Jim Gordon. And that's where we're going to end it for now. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And remember, always forgive your enemies because nothing annoys them more. Goodbye.